What's the combo? So the combo here is if you have an altar of dementia out, you can Goryo's Vengeance back Kroxa and Kuranos, and then with the trigger on the stack, you sacrifice it, and then you uh, get it back, and every time you do that loop, because it says you exile five other cards from your graveyard, and you're milling six when you sacrifice it to altar of dementia, so you're netting plus one card in your graveyard each time, eventually you mill a Thassa's Oracle, and then with the last trigger, after you've decked yourself out, you bring back Thassa's Oracle. That's the combo. It's kind of neat. I don't know if it's going to be good. It's a Manny. I have no idea if it's going to be any better than just like jamming a bunch of Atroxes. But we'll see. I remember playing five colors. Ten's pretty terrible. Sometimes these altar combos are very, yeah, they're very complicated sometimes. Okay, I gotta buy the new Ozlith then. We'll jam that after. After this league, we'll run yours, Manny. If you want to send me the list, that'd be fantastic. Sent it. Uh, Discord. Okie dokie. I think Sven plays blue-red control pretty much only. Pretty an interesting matchup. The new O's list pretty interesting. Oh, Steve, you can't keep doing this. You can't say every new card is pretty interesting. You can't wait to see what people do for it. Sure. I think I'm just going to take out this Goblin Shaman token. The Rogren Triome. Don't really want that thing attacking me. Bum, 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 bum. See no new cards? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, they're there. Don't you worry. I'm just going to main phase the Shadow Prophecy so they can't counter it. Um, I think I'm going to take Grief Gorio. I can Grief Ephemerate next turn. Should be pretty sweet. A new set just came out and I'm very interested in the cards and what's going on, but I realized my enthusiasm can be too much. I apologize. I lost the Eve. <laughs> Got it here and trolling. How's the combo going? I haven't done it yet. This is the very first game. Very, very first game. We're kind of missing two pieces of the combo right now, though. Yep, this card's, uh... <laughs> That's Griefum. We're missing the altar. We're missing the croaks in the graveyard. But we got to clear the way. Absolutely blown out by the subtlety. All right, subtlety, I guess. In the main deck, I piece that many. Do you want me to play the deck tomorrow or today, or do you have a preference? It's fine to play today? Okay. I just shuffled you away. I can wait. I got a ton of decks queued up. I'm going to take that spell pierce too. We are missing a lot of combo pieces to be able to go off right now. I'm going to be dead pretty soon, though. Getting hit for a lot of damage. I could trade here. I think I'm kind of in the market to trade here. Unless they drew a draw spell. Drew an ice. That is fine? Alright. Can do. Shadow Prophecy? Alright, we're dead. We died. I think I needed to hit Shadow Prophecy into Mill Croxa, put Altar of Dimension in my hand, then they would have been dead. Which was a lot to ask for. Bring the Teferis and the Force of Negations. Mm. Thank you, Manny. Let's get that a little bit. I think I could probably cut the Solitudes in this matchup. Very, very control heavy. I think I'm going to need them. Except Torborg. 
Or Borg, it's a time for battle. You are playing with the Duke Rokes right now. Yeah, I don't think Solitude's good here either, Steve. I'm inclined to agree with you. I think the new battle's actually broken on Moto 2. My favorite part. Probably trim late line bindings. Probably not all the bindings, most of the bindings. One Croak, so one Altar, maybe. Game's gonna go long. Bringer of the Black Dawn. Whoa. It's a slow hand, but I think it's a good hand. So we'll try it. <laughs> Paying one money color anyways. Kinda cool. Um, I think I'm still just getting Doth of This is my favorite Smunky song. <laughs> I guess it does block Omnath. The 5-5? Five five. It is a 5-5. Five five. Alright, let's see if the Shadow Prophecy can net me some combo pieces. Combo pieces? It gave me a Teferi and an Altar of Dementia. I will take them. Getting a lot of damage from just my mana base. Oh, I lose. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have played around that. Alright, guess I'll have to uh, draw one of my basics. For some reason, I didn't think they were playing Blood Moon. I don't know why I thought that. Just playing so many islands. I think this deck also plays like Archmage's Charm, but we're dead now. On to the next one. I probably could have played around that significantly better. Now we got most of the combo in our hand. We'll keep it. I could probably fetch up Swamp here. I don't actually know if I need just Swamp. Two Patchwork, one Ozlith, one Ancient Stirrings. Okay. Manny redeemed pet deck for it, so I gotta play Manny's list first. Which I'm gonna do next league, and then we can mess around with it a little bit. We have so many decks to play. I have 10 for today already. So we're going to slowly work through them over the next week, two weeks. You're a scrub? You're not a scrub. <laughs> That's so great. I can't wait to see him. Playing against Merc Dud. I guess I should yield it until the end step then for playing against Merc Dud. Well, they might Blood Moon me. Hold up. I got to turn off auto yields. They might Blood Moon me on three here, which would be a disaster. I'm gonna play this a little bit smarter than the last match. I'm just gonna get basic swamp and then tainted indulgence bin this Kroxo. Unless they spell pierce me, which they very well might spell pierce me. Swamp. Two black tainted indulgence. Bin the Kroxa. Just a giant and his good boy. You can get pet Kroxa's dog. Got a prophecy and a grief. And another one. Game's gonna hold up Shadow Prophecy. Yeah, I imagine it's insane and limited. Well, the Shadow Prophecy 100% eats a counter spell or a spell pierce, right? Spell pierce? Nothing. Take two more pieces of card selection. I play an Altar of Dementia out. See what they do. If they want to do anything about it. Oh, you know what? I should have tapped differently. Okay, now I'm best tapping. I thought I had another Black Source for some reason. Bolt me, sure. I should have pitched Grief, but I kind of wanted to wait to pitch Grief until my combo turn. Yeah, I should have cast Taint Indulgence here. But I didn't tap incredibly poorly. Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Merc dead. Actually, it might cost me the game. Unholy Heat, Unholy Heat, Merc Tide, Expressive Iteration. Unholy Heat doesn't really stop this combo. I think Unholy Heat's fine. Plus, they have two anyways. I'm just going to take the other Merc Tide. I fetch for planes and then shadow prophecy. 
Try to look for the Gorios here. Oh, wait, no. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm going to take Indulgence instead. So I need a double black. Well, it's not bad if I had fetched double black out. Wow, I just butchered this game. Okay, hopefully it doesn't matter. Tap very poorly. Or fetch very poorly. I need to get a second black source there, and that could probably win the game. Mm. Five color mana bases. Not the easiest to figure out. So I was thinking in my head, I was like, I don't want to take that much damage. And Ledger Shredder, Bobble. I think I should be fine to combo off. I don't think they can do much about it. Sub Goon. Alright. This is the time. As long as I can stop fetching poorly. I think I have to hold control. I'm gonna hold control and see how to do this. We're learning. Learning, yes. Exile five cards. Return Kroxa. Now we're just going to do this over and over and over. Return Kroxa. One, two, three, four, five. Get back to Kroxa. Oh, wait, I can't always yield. Turn off auto yields. Oh, I actually messed this up. Alright, well, it's not going to matter, but I forgot to sacrifice it. So, sacrifice on the stack. Yes. Another graveyard deck. My favorite. Not going to matter. One, two, three, four, whatever. Yes, get back Kroxa one more time. Now you need Gorio's Vengeance. Well, you don't need Gorio's Vengeance, but this does use Gorio's Vengeance. And now we get back Thassa's Oracle. Exile 5. And then get back Thassa's Oracle. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Get back Thassa's Oracle. Yes, trigger on the stack. Sack it. Okay. Is Alter not in Pioneer? I don't know if Alter was in Pioneer or not. Okie dokie. Barry's probably good in this matchup. Now, well, we managed not to butcher it that time. Proud of us. I want to trim down on Shadow Prophecy post board. So, they're probably going to bring in Blood Moon. Stony Silence is for the graveyard. I guess I should probably bring in Stony Silence for hers. Trim down on a Ephemerate and a Grief, maybe. That's for hers, Relic. All the graveyard hate. Oh, yeah. You can't even. Oh, you can't even do the combo with Stony Silence. See, that was. Never mind. I can't bring in Stony Silence. Bring in Fluster Storm instead. I forgot that Stony Silence is a remnant from. Yeah, Stony Silence is a remnant from the old list where you're just trying to like a Troxa Ephemerate and I forgot to take it out because I didn't realize it was going to shut down an altar. So, this shouldn't be in the sideboard at all. You're right, it shouldn't be in the sideboard at all. Keep this. Eh, I can't keep to that other. That one Oracle loves being in my hand. Going to three, I right. kind of want to keep like three lands here. This is my hand. Some rough mulligans. I'm pretty happy just to scoop to that. Let's go next. <laughs> Those are some very, very rough mulligans. I guess maybe I want pending over Flusterstorm. This hand's fine. Pretty vulnerable to Blood Moon, but hopefully Fable can dig us out of Blood Moon.
guess I passed. I have like 10 new decks built biomass, so we're just going to try them out one at a time. Tainted mm -hmm. Indulgence. Damn it, Oracle. I'm not going to cast Fable this turn. I want to wait until I have Fable plus Flusterstorm up. I guess those Stony Silences in the board should probably just be Wear Tears now. Wear Tears probably better. I need this Fable to resolve. Gonna bolt me. Gonna bolt my Goblin Shaman. I'm gonna do nothing. Evidently, we're doing nothing. I'm gonna fluster that. Do nothing. Yes. Yeah, flustering that seems pretty good. Oh, I'm not paying. Can't pay. Attacking me, yep. I had to bin Oracle land. I think I'm gonna bin the Flooded Strand. Indulgence. I have a one, a two. I don't have enough types just to draw a card, which is fine. I'm gonna cast it now. It's bin the Hollow Fountain. I wonder if I was just supposed to Goryeo's back Kroxa just to gain life. Maybe have been worth it because I don't have the altar. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that now. So I got it back. It would have been six Vigilance Menace Lifelink and then I could have also brought back a Thassa's Oracle. Whatever it's worth. I'm going to have to do it now. I'm going to get a basic swamp. We're gonna have to do it next turn. I think grief is pretty useless for them. Is that Norwegian? Grief is pretty good for me. Hmm. I fetch basic. One, two, three, four. Could put me dead to bolt though. Got on goat bots already. I think I'm just doing this. I'm gonna say yes and get back this Thassa's Oracle too as a blocker. I think it also lets me like basically surveil too. It's all scry too in a way. I'm gonna fluster that for sure. Oh shit! No region. Coming up with the deck dono also. I believe so. Is that for mono white humans? With the convoke guy? Humans. Sounds good. So I got Manny's deck to play next, which is scales and then humans. Yeah. Got a little bit of a queue. So scales and then humans. It's going to be the order. Counter your petty theft. Man, he jumped the line and chose an awful deck. One, two, three, four, five. Return the Oracle as a blocker. Surveil. Or quote unquote surveil. I'll take it to Fairy. Tech. Nope. Now Zip Zab's still broken, I believe. Then I'm going to Ephemerate Kroxa. Could also play Grief. But, yeah, maybe I do play a Grief. Although I have a Teferi lined up already. Oh, tough choice. I want to draw the Teferi. Let's pass. I don't think I need to Grief him right now. Did amass, like, a fairly sizable board. What's the new cards for scales? It's the new Ozolith. Ozolith the Shattered Spire. Yep. Iterate expressively. Yeah, it's not a Stirring's hit. But I think that's okay. I wonder if we can just beat our opponent by just having this Krooks out and attacking him. Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink. 
kind of hoping that they don't have unholy heat. Okay. I guess they didn't have unholy heat. Trip to the world tree. Man, this one oracle's like, I will stay in your hand forever, dingo. You and me, one million years. I'm gonna keep this hand, though. Think I influenced the meta, too? Nah. Not on the scale of aspiring Spike. <laughs> Spike's just like, bam. New hotness just dropped. Which is, you know, it's dope to see the modern metagame evolve like that. Definitely not a bad thing. I kind of wish I had a grief. Turn one grief would have been pretty good. Got to take out the amulet here. Can't let them have two. Hopefully I just top deck a land so that way I can shadow prophecy into the combo. That'd be neat. Dryad. No dryad. You get nothing. You lose. Actually, you probably don't lose. I think I'm going to lose if I don't draw another land. I should draw it. The new battle being able to hit Nate would be kind of nuts. Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan. That's not good for me. Need a way to deal with this dryad or just kill them. Ginger! Thanks for the raid. Hope your stream was swell. Oh, thank God. We can just do that now, right? Oof. All right, we'll take Solitude, Godly Shrine. I'm going to take 8 damage. I'm just going to play land, pick it back up, and play it again. I guess I could also do this, so I could take up to 12 damage. 10 damage. What's up, Josh? Yeah, the new Alara thing apparently doesn't work correctly when it's flipped. I need them to never draw a Titan, never. Or a Pact, or another Dryad. We gotta dodge a lot here. Double strike. Okie dokie. Go to five. Alter of Dementia. I have to take a white card here. I could also take Binding and Kronos. Binding and Croaks, rather. Ah, oh, man. Might be able just to hard cast that pretty soon. Yeah, I think we're gonna ditch the altar for now. I'm gonna take these two. I think we shock this in, go to one, and then binding here. Oh no, I don't have all the types. Okay, well I shouldn't have gone to one. <laughs> Going to one was stupid. I thought I had one more type. I know I'm green. Either way, I have to kill that. If I draw another land that's not a fetch land now, because I went to one. If I stayed at three and I draw a fetch land, I would be so blown. That is also representing lethal. Yep, drew the fetch. Oh, I'm stupid. We're going to draw basic, though. That's going to actually cost me so much. I could play to Oracle, yeah. Just going to get them a Besage you, like a Besage you. Nah, say he doesn't do anything. I can get him a T West, but they can't transmute a T West. Yeah, maybe we should play to Oracle. Try to surveil for a painless land. Oh, haste. Yep, that'll do it. Didn't actually end up mattering. I guess I should have played the Oracle. If I played the Oracle, I could have survived. Yeah. I played that game poorly. I'm messing up a lot with this deck. Max punished. Oh, it's submitted already. Thank you, Magic Online. I've got a sideboard quickly then. I've been making a lot of mistakes with this deck, though. Fetching-wise, and just submit before it's too late. And we'll think more. 
I want all the combo pieces. I don't know. Dot the tap, pass, and then we can play turn two altar into turn three shadow prophecy to hit like fable or paint indulgence. So that might be a tad too slow. I don't really know what we're mulliganing into that's going to be better. So we can get blood crypt and then have all the type shadow prophecy. Picking up the T West. Seems like they have a really slow hand. So slow that they're going to discard. Oh, I just drew a fable. Alright, let's do that. Let's play the fable instead. Make a thing that makes mana and then pass the turn. Yeah, Alter plus New Croaks this game. You are correct about that. I think we're going to discard it here. I don't wish I discarded that instead. They can tighten me next turn, but they don't have an amulet, so it's not that scary. I'm just going to solitude this. Maybe I should have kept the croaks in hand, because I can cast it next turn if I didn't solitude here. So I was trying to find a Gorios so I could do it this turn. Chances of me finding a Gorios are like not that bad with me having a Shadow Prophecy in hand either. Or I should just kept it in hand. I'm getting five looks at Gorios with Shadow Prophecy. Killing his Zeus does seem important. Even if they tighten, I can just combo kill them next turn. If I do hit the Gorios off of five looks, it's going to cost me my treasure token. I could still kill him post combat, I guess. Is that? It was Kogla. Oh, the new Kogla. Solitude. Paint Indulgence. Then we'll attack with both. Take a draw, too. Wayline Binding and Atroxa. Seems pretty strong. I think we're having a hard time. Just like beating this in general. Yeah, the Kogla jump scare. I didn't even like see it. It just appeared and then vanished. Steven? The nerdy Steven? <laughs> I think I found your next Halloween cosplay. You could be Steve. They might be playing Escape Shift. I know a lot of amulet builds are like messing around with Escape Shift for a while. Two, three, four, five, shock. Alright, it's Atroxa time. Can I tap any better? Probably. But I have to use this treasure token anyways. Ephemerate, Gorios. I oh, know those are both instants. I'll take the Gorios, Pending. And a land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in a great shape right now. This deck is much harder to play than I gave it credit for. Thought we were just going to be chill on easy street, but there's a lot of decisions between fetching and like deciding whether or not to hold the croaks or discard it. No, there's no good arcane cards. Like, the arcane cards that are worth splicing are, like, Desperate Ritual and Gorios, and that's about it. I don't even know if I need to win via combo this game. I'll just attack them. I think I'm just gonna attack them. That's true. Through the Breach, you can sp splice as well, if you really wanted to. I see. I see, said the blind dingo. I kept, like, a really, really weird hand to me. Very slow. Kodama's Reach isn't a modern staple. I forgot that that was an arcane card, too. But yeah, no. Not good. Fable. And then Land Pass. Was it lethal? It was lethal. 
I could have killed Steve for lethal. I think I want some number of force negations. Maybe like two. For amulet. Let's turn one answer to amulet. What do I not want? Remember, it seems fine. Actually, I don't even think I want these force negations. I think we can just roll with what we have. Let's try to combo them. I do enjoy the fables in this deck, though. Fables seem great. Is DT still streaming? I was watching him play some Abzan decks earlier. Kind of curious. I know DT signed off for the day. <laughs> we could have killed Steve for lethal, but the real, the real question is, should we have killed Steve for lethal? Steve seems like a nice, honest young man. Just trying to electronic cardboard like the rest of the boys and girls. Exactly. Just like the nerdy Steve. See, I couldn't... I didn't have the heart to kill the nerdy Steve, so... I didn't. I couldn't. It's fine. It's got pending for the turn one amulet, tainted indulgence, to try to discard Kroxa, and then the combo wrapped up. I didn't have the heart. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Okay, how do we want to fetch? Forget Godless Shrine. No. Hmm. If I get Hollowed Fountain, a Hollowed Fountain, Blood Crypt, and then get a Triumph for Green later, that's probably fine. Hollowed Fountain, Blood Crypt. Do I want to pending this map, or do I want to wait for the amulet? I think I kind of just want to get the map out of there. It's not as good as pending an amulet, but I think our hand's good enough to be able to do that. Get the tempo play. They might be stuck on lands also. And this will get us a blood crypt. We can play altar or tainted indulgence. Probably tainted indulgence. Because worst case scenario, I can discard the Atroxa. And then just bring that back. It seems like it's going to be the play here. Especially after drawing the ephemerate. Amulet. Copy it. Oh, wow. They didn't copy it first. They're picking it up. I think they could have done that in a better order. I don't know what the rest of their hand looks like. Okay. A lot of decisions now. I could bring back Gorios, the Atroxa, and then Ephemerate it. That doesn't seem bad. I could still potentially die if I do that, but I think that's our best play. They could have Endurance. Hmm. What if they have Endurance? I bought all these from GoBots. I'm going to risk the Endurance. Do you have Endurance? No. Reef, Binding, Pending, Gorios, Probably Shrine. So now, what do I want to pitch? I guess I have to pitch the Gorios. Yeah, I bought him. You have a Summoner's Pact and a bunch of lands in hand. I actually had a Bajuka Bog in hand, which is kind of funny. We missed on Solitude. Let's take Grief. Binding, pending, ephemerate, island. Alright, I discard some stuff. Land, grief, fable, altar, and I guess island. Just a handful of interactions seems really good against them. Yeah, really great connections to get cards like Croaks early. Connections like goat bots. I just like bought all of them. Goat bots. They weren't really expensive. I think I ended up spending like a hundred and fifty tickets on new cards. Which isn't too bad. I think we're winning this game. Unless they top deck a Titan. They top deck a Titan, things could get a little bit interesting. Uh, so far, it's been okay. I think I've lost most of my games to my own mistakes. Bolt, it wasn't really the deck that was being the issue. I think that me not playing around certain cards just costed me one match already. But fetching and sequencing with this deck is a little bit tricky. So we're getting used to it still. 
Mycosynth like Garden. Pink's Encampment. A Mycosynth and a Pass. Mycosynth and a Bajuka Bug and a Pass. I don't think I need to rebound this. I think I just want to kill him in two turns. Play Hammerwood Surge. It's on my list, too. Actually, that wasn't even one of the 10 decks I made today. I'm going to attack you, and then we're going to Pending an Amulet. And then I'm going to Binding the other Amulet. So we're going to fetch a White Source here. If I have any more White Sources than the deck. I do have another Godless Shrine. Hmm. Get this dryad out of here, and then we're gonna ending this other amulet. Ogla, sure. Ogla's fine. I think the damage is kind of already been done. They have no more amulets. I think we're sitting in a really good spot here. Lethal on the board. Flash Fury. That's going to get hit by a Leyline Binding. Picks up Bajuka Bog. Three, another Dryad Bajuka Bog pass. Alright, they have been defeated. Just Binding here and then attack them for lethal. Your soul is mine. Bonk. I'm running to the restroom. While we're in the club, man. Oh, this hand's probably keepable. Because of the shadow prophecy. Just don't be burn. Okay, it's burn. I think we're going to struggle against burn. So I can get Indatha with this one, and then Rogren with this one, binding this. This card is so bad against Burn. Might have to end up pitching it or something. I'm gonna discard him. Yeah, I'm gonna pitch it. Try to take a Burn spell. Well, their hand sucks. Glass half full, their hand's not very good. I just have three lands and a Searing Blaze. Take our potentially free land off this Goblin Guide. It's a solid dude. No murder it. Murder! I choose murder! It was kind of poetic. I was like, eh, as long as this isn't burned, they're like Goblin Guide. Ass. They're gonna kill this thing and deal three to me. I think the Searing Blade is going to be live pretty much no matter what. That's fine. More Solitudes. Helix me. Another Fable is kind of a great draw. I'm a little bit scared and wary of going to 7. It's because that's Boros Charm plus Lightning Bolt territory. I might have to. People do be jamming burn still. I actually have a burn list I made as well. With Blood Feather Phoenix. I think that card's a sweet card. Very excited to try that card out. Never bored. I think I'm pitching. I was thinking about pitching Leyline Binding, eating my Goblin Shaman, and then creating a copy with a Reflection to potentially attack them. And then if they have a response to that, then I can Ephemerate it. I kind of like that play. Bad if they have a school crack, though. What? 
Why didn't you school crack me before? Alright, well now I get to eat the token. Why did you not school crack me before? What's the sitch? It's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Glad he'd be ephemerated and then eating my token. Absolutely. Conceded the game. Oh, I think they could have uh, played that one a little bit better. Get these Shadow Prophecies out of my deck. Not going to be helpful. Probably also trim down on the combo. What else do I want to get rid of? Maybe a Grief. I don't think I need all the Griefs. They're going to be empty hand a lot of the time. Well, I have about 12 decks to try today. I mean, not today specifically, but how many I've built so far. I got 5 color Karuga, Asgul, Scam. Blood Feather Burn, Bring to Light, Escape Shift, Black White Tokens, Five Color Zoo, Is It Prowess, Karth Walkers, Urbrask Storm, along with Scales and Mono White Humans. Lots and lots of decks today. Sure, we're gonna put back land. Well, I'll put back that land. I haven't fixed Zibzab yet, no. But we did get a uh, Redeem My Pet deck for Scales without Zibzab, so. We're going to be playing it without Zibzab after this. R.I.P. my boy. The little wasp who could. I'm going to put this back. Elder Giant Dog? I think this is the first giant dog in Magic, right? As far as I know, first giant dog. Land Binding is quite the draw. It might just kill me. Before that even matters. I'm gonna get Triome and then finding one of these. Ooh, Solitude. Do we like me a Solitude? Could just kill me though. Does not take a lot to kill me from here. I'm at two. I'm at one. I need him to have blanks this turn. It's not a blank. That murders me. I think this hand kind of sucks. I drafted five companions. That's kind of sick. Yeah, we'll keep this. Not my favorite hand. Yeah, does that make you a beast master? I don't think it's my turn around very quickly for us here. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to take the Goblin Guide still. Tough decision. Drawing a Fable. I'm not going to take a Goblin Guide then. I'm just going to take the Swiss Spear. Fable Pass. Hopefully we can draw a Troxa or Kroxa. It's probably our best Mulligan to 5 against Burn. I think turn one Raghavan and limited is just like the nuts. I'm down to six. I kind of need to dig in these two. Uh oh. I might die. Maybe bidding the fable was a mistake, but I feel like I could have found the combo. So I was kind of banking on just finding the combo. Down to one. Yeah, we jammed the new croaks in there. So dead. Ah, burn. Burn, burn, burn. 
It's unfortunate. Maybe you need to play like Trinket Mage or something. I don't know. You need like some way of tutoring the altar. A lot of one land hands. It's not very keepable. Third one land hand row. Hmm. Yeah, our opponent only plays Etron. Which makes this even worse. <laughs> okay. Some semblance of something. Alice. Painted indulgence, spin the croaks, uh, altar, land, neither, neither altar nor land, that's really rough, list on one pass, so they don't have a land either, but I, neither do I, being able to fable here would just be fantastic for me, seems like both of us are just in the trenches, Oh, Natty Tron, at least. Moments before they play Natty Tron. Thanks, Lesnar. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you for this. They just... Uh... I got Tron before I got my third land. These Stony Silences should not be in the board, by the way. If you're trying to build this deck, don't play the Stony Silences. Those were a remnant from the Atroxa variant that I forgot to take out. Because it's a non bow with Altar. Let's do that. I don't think I want Greaves in this matchup. I don't really have that many reactive cards that they're not just putting onto the table. Another one lander. Another one lander. A lot of one landers today. Our deck plays 22, so we should not be getting that many one landers. I think that's a lot for our ratio of lands to spells. Am I going to have to force that? Am I going to force this? Mm, I don't really even have the graveyard plan. Right, whatever, I'm just going to let it resolve. I think our plan might be fab excuse me, Fable Beatdown. Can okay, some serious bing bong value with all these one landers? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think I can keep one landers. A deck like this anyways. I keep my fair share of one landers, but this is not one of them. And they got Trana on three. Let me play Ugin and I can force the Ugin. I'm gonna force that. It's kind of annoying. A wee bit problematic. Come on. Atroxa. You're hitting the bin. Well, I can't really afford to keep him on a mulligan to five, right? I just need too many moving pieces. For it to be reliable here. As mom affected modern. It's been approximately four hours since the set released. So we have no idea. Sorry, six hours. We don't know yet. You're Mm -hmm. And we just saw it do this and then hope that reflection plus solitude is going to get the job done. I won't though. Maybe if we attack twice with this Goblin Shaman, we can get something done. 
play the croaks out of our hand. Says a 6 6 vanilla. Vigilance met its lifelink. I really got to dodge O stone or all this does. Those two cards are going to ruin me. And that too. Eat. Reflection Solitude. <laughs> okay. We play on. Please just never have another Eldrazi. I surrender. Well, not great for Croaks a combo. I felt like the problems with this deck were that it's just too many pieces for the combo. Like needing this in the graveyard and this in your hand and this in your hand was just like a wee bit too many moving pieces. Also, I drew the Oracle a lot. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.